Kathy just, you know, not too long ago, she said that winning winning this fight means that you might have the possibility to fight the winner of Bottle Jack or Don Stevenson. What are your thoughts about that? And is that is that a path that you would like to take after this fight? Listen, it, it, it's a pretty good fight. Yeah. And I know what's right now behind uh, Igor Mikhailson, you know, because uh, it is it is the next day, test for me. Because uh, uh, yes, he's a known guy, but he's IBO champion. He won uh, uh, 21 uh, fight, one loss, you know, just uh, uh, I, I not didn't overrated him, you know, because he's, uh, he's, he's dangerous, because he's motivated. You know, I remember my myself when I was motivated, believe me, I'm ready to do everything. In terms of your last fight, you talked about and, how this is... And I'm right now motivated again, you know, yeah. but last uh, year, a little bit, Lost uh, focus of uh, of my training camps because it was a uh, wrong uh, wrong uh, coaches yeah. coaches in my team. You know, like I, I made some mistakes. You know, it, it's my fault. But right now uh, we're working together together with uh, Broad or some blood of like. And uh, how you see, I a little bit imp uh, improved. In, in terms of the last fight, what did you learn from the last fight to previous when you switched trainers? You know, can you exactly tell us what, what, what has changed since then? You know, uh, I nothing to study from last fight. I just understand that I can follow again. Uh, follow uh, for my dreams and uh, can fight on the high level yeah. and uh, make a crush. Make a crush everybody to my goals. Uh, to my dreams because like it was uh, just uh, like a comeback of my mentality you know because my m mentally was uh, I was broke mentally from first fight uh, with Underworld yeah. when they robbed me I was disappointed you know like it's like I was in the in, in in psychology sick you know just uh, like I was not happy you know like, and like uh, my emotions inside me killed me killed myself and right now, uh, from my last fight, I understand that everything is okay. And fuck this uh, past, you know, like the two fights. <laughs> it's just a good experience for me. And experience and lesson from the life. Yeah. From the life. Now that you mentioned Andre Ward, do you feel like he's trying to take his spotlight? You know, he took the picture with Bibble, knowing that your fight is coming this Saturday. Like, do you feel like he's trying to take his spotlight? You know, the conference. Listen, I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Yeah. But when I saw. When I saw that uh, on Instagram, he punched to my face, yeah. I'm like, hey, come on. Yeah. Yes, of course, he touched me. Yeah. And after that, I, I, I started like a uh, investigation. Yeah. Why he put it? And I saw on my uh, Instagram that I shared from Jeff uh, some pictures uh, photographer, he, he's local. Yeah. He put uh, his face in my uh, uh, my glove on his face yeah. and announced that I will be to fight him my store. Yeah. And I just uh, reposted. Yeah. You know, I reposted and he put uh, this uh, how he uh, punched me uh, in, in our last fight in, in uh, eight round. Yeah. And I answered, okay, don't worry. It's like it's life, it's sport, for me, everything together. How do you feel fighting in uh, Madison Square Garden again? You know, like you fight I'm, happy. I'm happy that uh, uh, my name deserves uh, to fight uh, uh, in the big history name, yeah. like in Madison Square Garden Arena. You fought in Vegas, Theater. you fought in Vegas as well. What was the difference between fighting at Las Vegas and here, Madison Square Garden? Did you see like better judging, anything different? You, you know, like, can I no comment this situation? Like, just, uh, I, I was involved in some game, you know, yeah. in Vegas. And I lost this game. Yeah, it was not a sport. It was a sport, not only in, spo uh, in sport. It was uh, everything dirty around the sport in our uh, fight, me and war. Yeah, you know, like. And listen, it, I already said it's good lesson for me. Like yeah. just a little bit need, need a smarter move to forward, forward. You know, like. But I was uh, from Chelyabinsk, you know, it's yeah, my hometown. I, I never saw something like, I never been on this stage. And uh, yes, I'm like a uh, chicken, like with the, with the closed eyes, like everywhere I'm ready to find, like just to pay, pay me money, like with good money, right money. Yeah. Pressure, it's a, it's a, it's a, pressure. Uh, 
In the past, your rivals, Stevenson and Ward, have called you a four-round fighter. They said that you get tired too fast. Do you think that was any truth to that in the past? Who said? Stevenson and Ward. <laughs> Come on, fuck them. <laughs> Sorry, in terms, in terms of, you know, you fought in Las Vegas twice, what is the best advice you would give to Triple G, you knowing that he's going to fight in Las Vegas again against Canelo? You got screwed, you know, many say he won the fight. You know, it, it's not in my business, I just I will be support, uh, uh, watch this fight and support Gennady, you know, because like, he's, my, he's my good uh, uh, friend, like, uh, and uh, I follow for him uh, since, like, when I turned to pro, you know. Yeah, of course. Just, uh, of course, I will be supporting Gennady, and uh, where and how will be is already not in my business. What's your prediction between uh, Adonis Stevenson and Bottle Jack for the WBC title? What's your, what's your take on that? Listen, I'm not a one guy. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, it's uh, just interesting. I just await this fight, and I don't care at all who will win. Just a uh, place to fight for WBC title. It, it's much important for me uh, uh, fighting for uh, for something, but. Not with who, you know? Yeah. Pressure, if you win this Saturday, do you want a unification fight next? Yes, I'm ready. For anybody. Uh, uh, sorry, Again. No, uh, in, in terms but of more smarter this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You talk about this 